Okay, so you've got this problem in Microsoft Excel where your XLOOKUP is only returning the first value or first result. So for example, I've got Barbara selected here in this drop-down list and it's only returning the first of Barbara's scores. If I change this to Bill, I only get the first of Bill's scores, 201. So I want to be able to return all of the scores. Maybe I want the scores arranged down this column or I want all the scores in one cell. Let's see how this can be done. Now, the trick here is actually not to use XLOOKUP, but to instead use the filter function. So the first argument is array, and that's the list of results that you want to return. So for us, that's the scores here comma and then include needs to be a logical test so our logical test will be does the corresponding player name equal the player selected in e2 so to express that logical test i would select all the player names put my equals comparison operator in and then select e2 i'm then going to close the bracket and press enter and you can see now that i have all of bill's scores listed there and if I select Barbara I have all of Barbara's scores. Now if you want all of these results in one cell say separated by commas you need to nest your current formula the filter formula within the text join function. Your delimiter is what you want to separate the results with so I'll say that's a comma and a space and notice I'm using speech marks there. Ignore empty, not really relevant, so I'll just skip over that argument here. And then text one is returned by your filter formula. So I just close the bracket there, press enter, and all of the results are in one cell. And it would be the same case if I chose Bill. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.